subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for BCS Foundation Certificate in Artificial Intelligence. So let's get started. Question number 1. Describe the alpha beta pruning process in BCS Foundation Certificate in Artificial Intelligence. Your answer is. Alpha beta pruning is a search algorithm that seeks to limit the number of nodes in the search tree searched by the Minimax algorithm. It can trim entire subtrees and leaves and can be applied to end depths. Question number 2. What is fuzzy logic, and how does it work? Your answer is. Fuzzy logic is a subset of artificial intelligence, it is a method of encoding human learning for machine processing. It's a type of multiple-valued logic. If then rules are used to represent it. Question number 3. What is partial order planning, and what does it entail? Your answer is. To achieve the aim, a problem must be solved sequentially. The partial order plan lays out all of the steps that must be followed, but only when they must be done in a specific order. Question number 4. What exactly is FOPL? Your answer is. A collection of formal systems in which each statement is separate into a subject and a predicate is known as first order predicate logic. The predicate refers to only one subject and can modify or specify the subject's attributes. Question number 5. What is the meaning of naive Bayes? Your answer is. The naive Bayes machine learning method is a sophisticated predictive modeling tool. It is a collection of algorithms based on the Bayes theorem that share a similar principle. The basic naive Bayes assumption is that each feature contributes equally and independently to the outcome. Question number 6. What is a backpropagation algorithm? Your answer is. Backpropagation is a neural network algorithm that is primarily used to analyze noisy data and find unrecognized patterns in order to gain a better understanding of the situation. It's a full state algorithm with an iterative component. Backpropagation is an ANN algorithm with three layers, input, hidden, and output. The user or the outside environment provides input values and limitations to the input layers. The data is then sent to the hidden layer, where it is processed. Finally, utilizing the output layer, the processed data is turned into certain values or patterns that may be shared. Question number 7. How are route weights optimized to lower the model's error? Your answer is. In AI, weights define how much influence the input has on the output. Weights are used in neural networks to process input and train the model. The output should have the same properties as the target attributes. However, the output may contain inaccuracies that must be corrected to produce the accurate output. When there is an error in the output of the backpropagation method, for example, the algorithm will backpropagate to the hidden layer and reroute the weights to produce an optimum output. Question number 8. In machine learning, what is regularization? Your answer is. When a model is either overfit or underfit, regularization comes into play. Its main purpose is to reduce the amount of error in a dataset. To avoid problems with fitting, a new piece of data is added to the dataset. Question number 9. What is the difference between model accuracy and model performance? Your answer is. Model accuracy is a subset of model performance that is based on an algorithm's model performance. Model performance, on the other hand, is determined by the datasets we give into the algorithm as inputs. Question number 10. What is the definition of a recommendation system? Your answer is. A recommendation system is a data filtering system that predicts user preferences based on the user's choosing patterns while browsing or using the system. Question number 11. What is TensorFlow, and how does it work? Your answer is. TensorFlow is a machine learning library that is open source. It is a low-level toolset for performing sophisticated algorithms that allow users to customize experimental learning architectures, and work on them to get desired results. 
Question number 12. What exactly do you mean when you say TensorFlow cluster and BCS Foundation Certificate in Artificial Intelligence? Your answer is. A TensorFlow cluster is a collection of tasks that work together to execute a TensorFlow graph in a distributed fashion. Each task is associated with a TensorFlow server, which includes a master for creating sessions and a worker for executing graph operations. A cluster can also be broken down into one or more jobs, each of which has one or more tasks. Question number 13. Intermediate tensors are what they sound like. Do sessions last indefinitely? Your answer is. The intermediate tensors are tensors that are neither inputs nor outputs of the following call, but are in the path between the inputs and outputs, they will be freed at or before the call's end. Sessions can have their own resources, and they consume a lot of memory. When the session is stopped with the following, these resources, and the related memory, are relinquished. Question number 14. In neural networks, how is overfitting avoided? Your answer is. In neural nets, overfitting is minimized by employing a regularization approach known as dropout. When a neural network is being trained to utilize a model that does not overfit, random neurons are discarded using the idea of dropouts. If the dropout value is too low, the effect will be minor. If it is set too high, the model will struggle to learn. Question number 15. What is the difference between stemming and lemmatization in NLP? Your answer is. Stemming algorithms function by chopping off the end, or beginning of a word while considering a list of often found prefixes and suffixes in inflected words. On some occasions, indiscriminate cutting might be successful, but not always. On the other hand, lemmatization considers the morphological examination of the words. To do so, Detailed dictionaries must be available for the algorithm to search through, in order to link the form back to its lemma. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.